Welcome back everyone. Today we're inspired by this little guy. He is one of the most iconic characters in the Star Wars saga, R2-D2. His bleeps and bloops are super fun, he's super feisty, which I can kind of relate to, and today he's the inspiration for our futuristic fun look that'll take your Disney bounding or your cosplay to another level. So I'm going to go right into it by applying my eyeshadow primer all over the lid from lash line to brow. I'm also going to actually extend my primer application out beyond my eye just a little bit because this look is going to wing out a bit. Don't forget your, um, your waterline underneath as well, or actually lash line. You don't want this in your waterline. <laughs> so today's look is kind of be in between R2-D2 and Endora from Bewitched. So we'll see how this comes out. So I'm going to do a little color blocking with my eyeshadow. So we are going to do a winged look, but as opposed to winging out our eyeliner, we're winging out our eyeshadow. So first I'm taking this cobalt blue crayon and I'm going to lay a base. So it takes me a bit to sort of get the shape right and I'm working with a textured lid. What does that mean? It means that, again, I am no spring chicken. So I have some looser textured skin on my lid. Doesn't that sound gross? But it, you know, it happens to the best of us. So I have to work in into my little lines and into my little creases to get everything straight. So it takes me a sec. Ain't no shame, just, you know, working it in. So I'm laying this base first. It's that beautiful R2-D2 cobalt blue. And then I'm going to take a darker blue shadow, which I'm doing here, with a very thin eyeshadow brush, and I am enforcing the shape as well as darkening the edge of that blue. So basically I'm creating a gradient. We're going to go from a deeper blue on the outer corner of the wing, and as we move in towards the crease, we're going to blend into a lighter, brighter shade of blue. I'm also going to work it into my lower lash line. So it's all going to be sort of cohesive and married together all around the eye. And another thing I'm doing is I am tightening up the edge of the wing going outward, but as I work towards the middle of the eye or into the crease, it's going to be more blended. So again, just working it in. It might take you a while to get it straight because wings are complicated enough when you're doing it <laughs> with a liquid liner. Uh, with this though, it can be a little bit more messy. It can be a little looser. And again, it's important that I'm marrying the edge of the top of the wing into the bottom lash line so we're all connected. And just a note, I have my foundation, my concealer, and a very light contour on, and I do prep my skin before I do the videos, as well as my eyebrows. And the reason why I do that is because I feel like that is a whole other tutorial. Uh, in these tutorials, I really want you guys to look at the color schemes and the artistry more so than the actual uh, complexion. Although that is important, I don't usually include them in these more theatrical or themed looks. But if you guys have questions, please feel free to ask them at any time, put them in the comments below. Um, as far as products go, I'm really bad at like holding up products <laughs> as I'm working. Sometimes I do it and sometimes I don't. So just for you, I list all of the products that I use on my face in the description of the video below. So those are always listed, so you can always use that as a reference. Now right now, I took a lighter shade of blue. It's matte, there's no shine to it, and I'm working it into the eyelid. I'm sorry, into the crease. So I'm going all the way to the inner corner of the eye, and I'm creating a very hard line cut crease, but I'm blending, blending it softly, sort of above the eyelid. And you can see that gradient is starting to really pop. So you'll see it gets darker towards the outer corner of the, of the wing, getting much lighter towards the crease and inner corner. And now with a flat brush, I'm going to press in a silvery shadow. We want to make sure that we're representing R2's 
silvery shine. So this silvery shiny shadow is getting pressed into the lid all over from the inner corner, meeting that blue on the outer corner. And then I'm gonna take this blue sparkly glitter and I'm gonna line the bottom line going all the way up to the end of the wing. Now, because he's a droid, I really wanted to capture the shiny and shimmery. I know sometimes he's dirty, he's been on his adventures with his crew, but I really love when he's all polished up and he's looking super handsome and you can tell that he's just beaming. <laughs> so I wanted to capture that and really add a lot of shimmer and shine. So you'll see a lot of those elements worked into this makeup. Also, it adds to sort of that futuristic look. So kind of loving that. So taking that blue sparkly liner, plus who doesn't love glitter? Everybody loves glitter. It makes everything better, doesn't it? I think so. So yeah, so taking that, and now I'm pressing a super shiny silver pigment, a loose pigment over the silver, so it just makes it pop even more. So it's, it's not, super intense glitter it's it's actually a shimmery pigment so it'll catch the light really beautifully as I move my head or blink my eyes and then I'm gonna line my waterline with this stark white liner and I really felt like this again added to that futuristic look and it kind of makes your eye just pop just a little bit more and I love this liner it's really creamy and soft so there's no tugging and it stays on my waterline really beautifully Now I'm taking a thin liquid black liner and I'm lining just the root of my lashes. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm actually going to be wearing false lashes. I am going to apply those at the end of this. And I just love the deepness and solidarity of the look once the black liner's on. And you can see that's that beautiful gradient going from the outside into the inner corner. And poof, we got two eyes. I love that. I wish it were that easy in real life. <laughs> so now I'm taking more of that, that shimmery pigment and I'm going to dust it just under the wings and my under eye area. So again, giving my skin a shimmery sort of almost mannequin look. So we're super, super shiny so that we look almost fake doll like, I guess. I think that really, again, adds to that. So I'm taking my Watts Up highlighter stick and I'm adding more shine to my skin. Now this is a highlighter that will add more of a skin-like shine. So it catches light, but it does look more skin-like so there's no glitter in it or anything. It just reflects light, natural light, really beautifully. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to layer my pigment again on top of that. And because it's a creamy highlighter, the pigment has something more to stick to just more of that pigment. Again, I'm going to list all the products down below in the description so you don't have to panic. I got you covered. So this is a blush that has, again, it's a very beautiful peachy, it's called a chromatic blush, I believe, and it has a beautiful shine to it. Again, subtle, very skin-like, but it is peachy. I layered a lot of my complexion products in this look because again, I want it to look more mannequin-y or doll-like. I wanted my skin to really have an iridescent finish. So then this is my favorite blush of all time. It's called California. It's from Benefit. And I'm just deepening the color just on the apple of my cheek and just blending up. So again, a lot of layers to complexion on this look. I gotta have my blush though. It's kind of a, an addiction. <laughs> And check out all the awesome, crazy faces I make. You know, I watch myself do this and I just crack up. I hope everybody <laughs> is laughing with me and not at me. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply my mascara. I always do a base coat before I put my lashes on. Just again, my favorite word of the day is cohesive. So just so everything is the same. Uh, well, everything blends together really well. So I find putting a quick base coat of mascara on my lashes before I apply my falsies 
to be effective and then that way I could integrate my actual lashes into the false lashes so much better so that when you look at me like a profile or if I look down the false lashes look more natural I don't have any weird double lash line so again I'm shimmying that mascara from the root of the lash to the tip and that avoids clumping so now here we go we're applying our false lashes because you know I feel like they're always the icing on the cake you could really pump up this look and apply double lashes which I thought about doing uh, maybe I'll do that for the next look and if you have questions about how to apply lashes if you guys want me to do a video separately for that reach out let me know what you love let me know what you want to know and I'll help you out so I'm getting that lash sometime look at this little sucker always there's always one man there's always one you get it in you got it in all right there you go very good moving along so again <clears throat> applying another layer of mascara to the false lash and here again I am integrating my lash into the false lash but I'm also leveling up on these lashes. I like to layer my mascara onto my false lashes. Some people like a more natural look and the false lashes alone are enough, but for this look, come on, let's, let's amp it out a little bit. And I love a nice winged corner on my lash, so you'll see me always getting those corners, layering that mascara right up. So what's missing now is our lip. Moving on to lip time. So. For my lip, I decided to represent R2's super red light. So he's always got that very obvious red light. I guess sometimes it's also a projector, but um, for me, it stands out on his on his little body and in his color scheme. So we're doing that bright red lip to represent R2's red light on his top dome. So really, blue, silver, and red is are the colors that I grabbed, and and obviously a little bit of white. Uh, and I, that I grabbed from his color scheme. So just applying this liquid suede lipstick. I love this color over that darker liner. I just think it's super beautiful. And at the end, it just all comes together really nicely. And just a little heads up, I have a crooked bottom lip. So I have to always be very strategic in lining my bottom lip because my bottom lip it slants to one side so yay there you go some trivia about my imperfect asymmetrical face and now you can't unknow that so you're gonna be looking at it every time you watch me you're welcome who's excited about Star Wars land I'm so stoked I can't wait we have to wait till 2019 now but we're getting there we're getting there there you go there's that red lip so we have our blue our silver our white our red that's my r2d2 color scheme this look was pulled together super fast it is quite dramatic but again I'm kind of loving it it's super fun so here's the end result if you guys have questions if you guys have suggestions if you want to know about some techniques specifically please reach out to me and let me know I'm still new at this I'm working on it all and I need your help and support so visit our patreon page I have one of those going now and I could sure use some help so I can make you guys some awesome videos this is it please like subscribe share and may the force be with you